If you have diabetes, you need to plan your meals so that you know just how many carbohydrates you're eating. That way, you can make sure you don't overload your bloodstream with glucose. In addition to counting carbohydrates, you can use the glycemic index to determine how your meal will affect your blood sugar levels. The glycemic index ranks foods based on how quickly their carb content raises your blood glucose. For a steady blood sugar level, it's best to eat mostly low and medium glycemic index foods. Low glycemic index foods are ranked 55 or less. They include stone ground whole wheat bread, barley, beans, peanuts, prunes, carrots, tomatoes, milk, light yogurt, and many fruits. Medium glycemic index foods are ranked between 56 and 69. They include peas, bananas, brown rice, baked sweet potato, and really, ice cream. High glycemic index foods are ranked 70 or more. They include plain bagels, short grain white rice, watermelon, pineapple, baked white potatoes, cornflakes, and much more. A food's glycemic index increases with the amount of cooking and processing it goes through before consumption. Al dente pasta is lower than soft pasta. Fresh fruit is lower than fruit juice. And larger portions equal higher glycemic indexes. Also, foods with a low glycemic index may still be high in calories and fat and have few vitamins or minerals. That's why the glycemic index is not recommended as a primary meal planning tool. You should count carbohydrates and then use the glycemic index for added information. And consult your doctor or nutritionist to figure out a meal plan tailored to your personal diet goals.